doing there, guys? It's uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I think it's a, a Tuesday. I think it's a Tuesday, and uh, it would make it been a Tuesday, the 18th day of December 2007, and uh, I've just made my way back to the beautiful Big Blue Sea, Mount Martha. After heading up very early this morning, we got up at uh, just after five in the morning to uh, to get Danny and Alana up to the airport in Melbourne around about 100 kilometres away and uh, they got off to a, uh, a beautiful start to the day and I've since spoken to Danny who's arrived uh, in the very sticky central Australia. It's very humid up there and uh, he's had to take a dip in some water just to cool off after the, uh, the stark contrast of the beautiful weather down here. It's a bit humid at the moment. I'm driving along Bradford Road and uh, I've just dropped into uh, the beautiful Franger, the land of the moccasins and prams and uh, picked up a couple of bargains for the team, a couple of bargains. It is uh, one good benefit about these big cities is we do have access to amazing equipment and things and stuff from around the world. Just passing the, uh, the lovely Mount Martha Park now. Oh, look at that. Ain't she just the ducks nuts? Um, I'm about to catch up with Joey now and, uh, and carry on for the evening's proceedings. Got a few, uh, a few of our uh, Project Blue Star Diary uh, inserts to upload for you guys, let you know what's going on. Uh, all is very well. One certainty um, in uh, spending this time in the big smoke is there still hasn't been a major change in human activity when it comes to climate change. You still see the same levels of consumption, the same levels of ignorance and uh, the same level of uh, lack of cooperation between humans when it comes to uh, orchestrating ourselves to deal with this very real challenge confronting the planet. Climate change is going off, the United States is copping a belting, parts of Europe are getting belted, some areas experiencing drought right now which is just phenomenal and uh, it's very very real. Still hearing about the events over there and um, uh, up in uh, Bali, Indonesia about the, uh, the World uh, Climate Change Conference and still disheartening to see that there's only an effort to uh, change or reduce CO2 emissions by 20 to 40 percent by the year 2020. Now unfortunately it's lovely that that effort is being made but it's far too little too late when it comes to uh, stopping the 70 million or so tonnes of CO2 being uh, ejected into the atmosphere every single day. So we need to change, we need to, uh, we need to change it drastically and radically if we are to simply survive. Um, so coming out of, uh, out of uh, Melbourne, out of the city for 2007, I'll be heading back to Central Australia with more vigour to uh, try and step up this uh, climate change communications campaign to make sure people are well aware of the seriousness of this threat facing the planet. I've just arrived at Mount Martha. It's wonderful to see the beautiful combi and uh, we'll see you guys a little later on. I hope you're well wherever you guys are and uh, looking after yourselves. It is a beautiful day to be alive. See you later. How you doing big fella? What's your name? Hey. Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too, Ross. <laughs> what day is it today, Joey? December and it's cool. Very strangely. Ah, cool. stop your engine. I think it might rain. Anyway. And once again we embark upon our beautiful journey up to the Mount Martha Lookout where we talk about the romance of life, love, relationships, spaceships, the realms of substances, the colourful characters that surround us, the madness, the mayhem, the corruption throughout business and politics, and of course, what's for dinner. It's been great this time, getting up to Mount Martha, especially hanging out with Roger and Joey. These guys have spent 
years upon years around uh, the educational department teaching thousands and thousands of students and, uh, and they've lived a colourful life and it's wonderful to be around any character that uh, has got some light to shed on the wonders of this beautiful planet Earth. And here we go up to the lookout itself, the meandering little pathway through the trees uh, to the band at lookout in which we have to climb up to get to the top of it. It's a nice little uh, initiation ceremony that we do as often as we can at Mount Martha. How are you doing? We got this far and only a bit further to go. And we'll be there. Our family's grown to love these walks, getting up to the good old lookout and the conversations of what it's all about. And uh, there's very little that's excluded from our conversations. And when we get to that top, we feel relieved and uh, we have a bit of a health and safety meeting, talk about the good times and the better times and uh, put it all into perspective. And uh, it's been many occasions where the SFYC team has made it to this lookout to kick back and uh, just get together and celebrate. Why so many people today choose to uh, transport themselves in these vehicles amazes me. I think in uh, the Western world, predominantly in the United States, the average distance in a vehicle is five miles, something that we can do by foot or public transport uh, or uh, better yet on a bicycle. And this amazes me, let alone the conversations that we have when we finally go for a walk and get out there and get stuck into it. And uh, on these particular walks, there's no topic that uh, will not come up. No, I can't think of his name. Um, he was part of the, uh, the Three Wise Men. Bob Davis. Bob Davis. He was on it. Bob Davis was on it. And champion rugby, Glenn Thompson, big Glenn Thompson was on there. Wasn't yeah, it? I mentioned that. No, you didn't actually. Well, there you go. See, I, I didn't. Don't think do he that. was on there. Well, who no, else I, I can name. Uh, Tuddy was on there. Tuddy, who else? And Bulldog Murray. They were both. On the bus. They were both on the bus. Get, get your facts straight, will you? Champion like truck from big Glenn Thompson. Where were you? Think? So I decided to ask Roger if he was to reincarnate, what would he like to come back as? If I came back as an animal, uh, it's a good question. It's not easy. Would you come back as a dolphin, a banana, a chicken, or maybe a stapler? Maybe. Maybe a dog, because dogs like they get excited over absolutely nothing. You know, they're very content. And you can sort of you can lift up your hand and they'll get excited and jump around. Great choice there, Chairleg. Coming back as a dog wouldn't be so bad at all. They're so easily amused, so uh, preoccupied with having fun all the time. And there's some other benefits, uh, uh, except for maybe smelling other dogs' bottoms. And uh, then again, you can also lick your own. Mm. Anyway. As the communications, the discussions, the conversations and the insanity continues, we know that by coming together, the future of life on this earth is ever so prosperous. Wherever you are, keep coming together, keep the communications coming and live, baby live. See you on the next transmission. Ciao.